Vida Costa is all out, despite a 3,000 kilometer gap at the head of the race. The Spaniard is crossing Cape Finisterre, while the first are approaching the Cape Verde Archipelago. Hi, we're back in the game after four days at a stop. I'm very motivated. Off of the world around. Here we are. At the outposts, Armel Leclerc, some distance ahead, had taken the lead on his pursuers. He is now under Alex Thompson's threat. Indeed, Alex has made an incredible comeback, covering 455 miles, about 850 kilometers in 24 hours. They're going, uh, they're going pretty well. I've been going a little bit faster in the last day or so, so I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, just heading south, trying to get to the equator, get to doldrums as quick as possible, but still going to have to decide what I do about the Cape Verdes. Do I go leave them on the, leave them on the port side? Do I go through them or? There's even the option to leave them on my starboard side, so it's going to be interesting to see how that pans out. Sixth at about 60 miles, Jérémy Bayou is well placed in the group ahead. Metrocock skipper, who's trying to keep up the base, describes to us one of the most unpleasant aspects of the foils, the noise. It's hyper strident and makes the whole boat shake. It takes over the entire body, vibrations like at the dentist's. It's simply unbearable. So if you don't put your earmuffs, well, after 20 minutes, it's like bashing your head against the wall. At that rhythm, with those noises, well, at the same time, it won't be as long, but hard to put up with. If the ones ahead keep that pace, records will be broken. They could reach the equator in less than nine days. But before that, the great crossing, the doldrums, will have to be dealt with. And that should start slowing down the fleet by tomorrow night.